Hello, and welcome back to another day of Minecraft. One thing that I really need to do is get more food. That was one of the low points of the end of last episode, is that we kind of just ran out of things to eat. But, since we finally got our nice screenshot with all of our wheat growing, we can finally dig up all of this and actually make it into bread. I truly was just leaving it all here when I needed food, just so it could all be grown in the screenshot. You know, the things you do for thumbnails, I tell you. Just like last time, I don't have much of a specific plan, and I kind of just like sitting down and not having a plan. Maybe we'll make a large farm. Maybe we'll find some horses and make a stable. We could always deal with the sheep and make a sheep pen. But who knows where today's gonna take us. I got a couple hours set aside, and we'll see what we get in the end after all of this. I did kind of use up the last of the iron on that anvil, so that's just something to keep in mind. We kind of used it all up, and now we don't have any. Do we have anything else you saw out here? We can make our diamond pickaxe. I think we'll just hold on to it for now. And maybe make a couple of stone pickaxes. Or at least just one. Pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. Got a little extra food. And we can also take some torches on our adventure as well. Throw those in the offhand. I think we'll set out on our, on our journey. What we could do is build a bridge from here across the water. Or we could build a bridge from here going across the water. I think this is currently a nicer setup for that. So let's make it to the other side. And then mark out where we want the end of the bridge to go. And then we can explore for a little bit. To see how it goes from there. So I want the bridge. Um, to... Honestly, we can have this one curve a little bit as well. And I want it to come to around here. Where we will take this bridge, who knows? But we do have a sheep. Maybe we can come back and get this one. There were sheep from the other day over there. But who knows if they're still there. They almost certainly are. There's always a very small chance that they've disappeared. Find the rain to be very peaceful. Whereas normally I find it a little grating. Just sitting back and having the main goal be to just explore and then maybe build a little something here and there. It just makes the game a lot more enjoyable for me. I think what we should do, since we'll probably need wood for whatever we decide to build, we should take this path that we're on right now, keep extending it out in this direction, and then just, you know, dig the little dirt path as we go. Maybe we could even go to the nether and get something there. That's a pretty close lightning strike. That could actually be a good use for our copper ingots. Just to use them to make a lightning rod. That way we don't have to worry about anything burning down. But since we did make the whole house out of stone... There's not really much to burn down right now. Which is good, I don't want to make it incredibly flammable. Of 
For me, one of the most welcome changes that they've made to this game in like the past couple years was when they made it so you could turn dirt into dirt path, not just grass. That was so convenient. <laughs> I was always super annoyed from that before. I probably should be placing some torches down along the way. Keep it safe. Apparently the path has no purpose. But that's perfectly fine with me. We don't have to have everything that we do expressly fill out some sort of prescriptive narrative. We can just kind of play the game as it goes along and uh, avoid creepers the best that we can. Because they'll make uh, the path a little bit... <laughs> a little bit more dicey. I thought the spider was going to hit me back into the creeper. Oh. Maybe we can make a fishing rod later. At some point I would like to find some villagers or cure some zombie villagers. Just to add a little bit of life to our settlement, but... That's not necessary anytime soon. Okay, yeah, this one seems to be a little in the way. This one is absolutely in the way, so we definitely need to take this one out. The night is dark and full of terrors. Hopefully we can minimize that as we go on. Of course, we could always go back and sleep today, but I believe it would end the thunderstorm. I kind of like the thunderstorm sounds. Hopefully for... The people watching the video without commentary, the thunderstorms and the rain are a nice addition to having some small background sounds. I think we'll do a little bit of terraforming here if possible. Just so we don't have to go down and then immediately back up again. all of this staying lit up because of this leaves connection to this tree? We might as well take this one down just to find out. <sighs> oh! <laughs> I was just gonna... <laughs> I was just gonna say, we can sit here and think about where to go since this is where the grass ends. And, uh, let's just say the creeper didn't really give us time for that. Okay, so I've changed my mind. The path can just go down a little bit. Sadly, it is broken. We'll need to get a new shovel. But I'm going to do my best to fill in the little area that we've exploded so far. Need, what, three more? That should just about do it. We can put another torch here. And let's run off into the desert just a little bit. See where we're headed. Oh, this is just a beach. Hmm. We could make... See, we could make a little beach house. Though I would, to a degree, like to avoid making a beach house until we get Silk Touch. Because then we can work on... Getting the turtles over there. We can have a turtle beach. For now, I think we'll go back to the base. Maybe get a little bit more wood. Or at least start working on the dock. We could go for a similar theme as the one before. Or we could go for a stone bridge. Or some combination of stone and wood. Alright, tough. 
Maybe we go for tough. See how much we have. We ultimately want to get up there. Let's do a little something like this. Where we'll definitely need to get more tough. Now that I've now that I've placed more than zero blocks, it feels very much like we'll need some more tough. I like building these kind of haphazard paths. We can always throw in some stairs or slabs to smooth it out a little bit. I think it just gives it a nice kind of swaying aesthetic to it, where things are not perfectly straight. They're feeling a little more organic, shall we? Go back down to the start, see how wide it is. Good deal with coming over a little bit. We go up a little. Okay, perfect. Then we can go up, I think, one more time. Because we want it to come back this way. Go like so. And pull this back. Fill in the rest from down here, just so it gets a little bit of a bump up at the start. Which again, it does look a little funky. But I think in the end, I think in the end it'll look all right. Well, you know what? Is did I leave the stone cutter upstairs? I did. I think of all of the blocks that we have, andesite goes best with the tough. At least for making s these smoother slopes. Which we'll definitely need, otherwise this feels a little untraversable. Introversible? I don't know. However you feel like saying it, it feels just a little bit too difficult to move around. There, now we got a little bit smoother of a path. We do have some blocks that go together kind of nicely. Now we can swim underneath and make it so it's a little bit smoother of a transition between these sections. Otherwise, from the side, it's just one corner of a pixel touching to get that blend going on, and that's just... For me, at least, that's just not enough. We can throw that one in as well. There. That gives it just a slight feeling of being a little more stable. We do still really only have uh, oak wood for, like, an abundant wood source. So we're going to have to do this once again. But we'll be all right. It won't take too long to get more if we if we run out from where I feel like we should be having a little bit more. It might just be that every single episode involves making a bridge. I don't think so, but I mean, there's always a chance. We're at least currently at the point where that is the case. And then at some point it's like, do we, do we stop and do we break tradition or we just, do we just carry on? That feels too tall. Are these the safest bridges in the world? Ooh, absolutely not. But are they functional? Eh, kind of, I guess. 
Okay, we definitely need to grab some more oak wood. So we'll do that. And then once all of these trees fully decay and all the leaves disappear, then I think we'll plant some more in. Just so we have a little bit of foliage off to the sides. If I had more iron, I probably would just... We could always throw a bunch of, like, little bushes off to the side. That is if I use the iron to make, um... To make shears and then just cut down all of the leaves. Sadly, the forest will be disappearing for a little bit. We could always make a sand castle on the beach. I accidentally stripped one of those. We could always make a sand castle on the beach that our path leads to. Or just a fun little beach house. Go on that side. Hmm. Seems just a little... Just a little off. I feel like this pillar should be here. So let's just go and do a double pillar. I don't feel like chopping down the first one. No, having this one be one higher is a little weird. I guess that's all right. We should do another one here, but I have only six blocks. So we definitely need to find some more trees to cut down. Also, we are facing an extreme lack of iron. We will have to pop back into the incredibly dangerous caverns. I just like how this like, sitting down, casually exploring, everything just starts to slowly piece itself together. I would really like to get those wolves, but we did only have three bones, and also we used up all three of the bones, so... The wolves won't be coming home for a little while. Interesting that there's a sampling down there. Not what I expected to find. How is this for a bridge? It does really feel like we should have one support maybe here. So let's add one. Ooh. That probably, yeah, that probably needs to be one higher. <laughs> so I need to cut down one log from this tree. But we can't just be the monsters that leave a floating tree here. I have to cut down the whole thing. Also, let's separate this, just so it decays. Because I can't live, can't live with having these things all detached, but yet floating around. There we go. Now I should be able to make it. Fine. And maybe we should add in another section there. So it seems like we're just going to be putting in a bit of effort on the uh, the bridge building front. But I think it's nice because then we overall get a base that looks quite interesting. These little things. The saplings, of course, will all someday be useful. Worst case, we just burn them for heat. We have 25. I mean, we could... We could cook through at least two iron ingots with that, I'm pretty sure. And logs. No! <laughs> Ten wasn't enough. I really need to get just a little bit better at estimating these things. Let's try this. This is also a significantly better way for me 
to make these videos. Otherwise, I just get too burnt out having to sit down and like hard edit through all of it. No, that one definitely has to be a little bit tall. Okay, well we have our second bridge. Let's look at it from the side and see if there's any additional changes that need to be made. Okay, ideally I'd like to throw on some spruce trap doors. Just to give it a little bit of something something. No, I'm doing the something something thing again. Just to give it a little uh, pizzazz maybe? I don't know exactly how I should describe this. We want to make it look a little bit more stable. And I believe to do that, we have no iron in here, in here. Okay, we do have one. That's it though, isn't it? Yeah, dang it. Okay, we gotta go back mining. Quite sad. This is not where I wanted to go. Back into the dangerous underwater territory. We do need just a little bit of iron though. I think we'll go explore off to this side. I don't believe we fully explored this region. It does really look like we did though. <laughs> At least there's some coal that we've missed. And we do still need, of course, more torches to light up the path. We need everything to be nice and safe. We could always go down to Deep Slate area and find ourselves some lava and then create some obsidian and then mine it and bring it back. See what's up here? Nothing special. Makes that section a little bit more interesting. Um, let's see. There is, is this broken mine shaft that we could always try and meander down. Not the safest place in the world, but there is a good chance that there will be some iron exposed on the sides. And of course, always more copper. Maybe today we'll have enough to do a copper-themed build. There's always a chance that we make ourselves just a lovely roller coaster. I did also remember that we can now waterlog these rails. So we could do a water coaster underwater. I think would be quite interesting. Music is lulling me too much into a sense of peace for being in these caves. Around. Hmm. Very scary. <laughs> the music is... A little too relaxing. Oh, there we go. Lost one of those. Okay, we'll rebuild an axe later on. Preferably out of iron when we get back up. We're going to be needing to cut down quite a few more trees for what I have in mind. I was about to say what I have planned, but I definitely don't have a plan yet. I just have... The faintest hint of an idea. And it's currently just to spruce up the bridge. With a little bit of spruce wood. The trapdoors are my favorite to use. They're just very nice, like, vertical slab block that we don't really have any other way of getting. Always annoying using them to build on my server, though. 
Because all of the kids will go around and just flip all of the trap doors to be open from whatever position that I've put them in, they'll switch it to the other one. It's really hard to use them for decoration because it's so easy for someone to come in and then just ruin it. <gasps> Sorry for the hiccup. Okay. Play. Oh, we can mine all of the ore with our diamond pickaxe. I just really need to make sure to save it for obsidian, but I don't think we're going to get through all of its uses anytime soon. Oh, okay, back to where we were. So one area already explored. It is good to see just a little bit more iron. Very good to see. Maybe we can work to get an enchanting table as well, though we would need to find significantly more cows. Yep, I was afraid of that. Good reason. This is all oh, once again back into the lake. Everything is just connected to the lake around here. We can no longer escape it. So it seems like all of the mobs decided to not spend too much time around here. One. Oh, my axe is broken. And I do not have a sword on me. Of course, something interesting we can always do this <laughs> because then the zombie can't pathfind oh my goodness the bat was terrifying it's just an interesting little trick for you uh zombies can't pathfind around rails don't really know why maybe because the rail counts as a full block i'm really sure but they just can't do it for whatever reason. That's how they're coded. You can always use them to make a maze for mobs. Kind of funny thing to do. They just won't walk over the rails. Which is why sometimes if you're trying to capture a zombie or skeleton with a rail in a minecart, it's a little bit tedious. You know, just make that a little bit easier to escape from in case we ever need to go back through there. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Thought I had a shovel. Oh no, we broke it making the paths. Oh, that was really sad. I thought I could make it. Let's go in the wall and then up. That's all there was? Okay. So it was kind of a good thing that we didn't make it in the first place. Let's go back. There might not be anything else useful in this mine shaft. Feels like we've already uh, explored a very good portion of it. But of course we'll continue till the very end. Oh, there we go with rails blocking the flow of water. Of course, always on the lookout for just a little bit more iron. It is the most valuable resource right now because it allows us to mine everything just a little bit faster, which means we can save 
a lot of time. Yeah, I could hear a skeleton. Also, it turns out there is much more to explore for this mine shaft. This just seems to be a flooded cave. I guess we'll take these rails. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, that's kind of like really good. So we'll stand here and mine out all the iron. <laughs> I'm glad I went over here to check. The flooded caves usually do tend to have quite a lot of ores in them. Because there's no reduction from being uh, exposed to air, like the normal ore spawning in caves. Out of here. That was very worthwhile. Oh, no. I hate these guys the most. If one of them bites me... Nope. Oh, dang it. Then we're just... We're in for a world of hurt. It is just kind of a rhythmic thumping of the poison. Let's try this again. Oh, that only made it worse. Let's see. No, I did it again. Okay. Let's fix this. We'll go bottom one f First. All right. I mean, that's a little bit better. It just doesn't flood the whole cave. For one iron, not bad. Okay. A little bit sketchy. I don't really want to explore that anymore. I've had my fill. Last time we died so much. There, then maybe the skeleton will walk up here. Yep. God, I hear them too much. Yep, there's the spawner on that side. Nope. Ah! <laughs> I don't like that. I would love for these spiders to just stay away. Truly the most terrifying creatures in the game are the baby spiders. Ah! Ah! No, no, they're so fast too, comma, I was, I was so far away from him. The thing is, if I die down here, I don't know if I'll even find all my stuff. But I do need to be quite careful. I 
filled with much fear. That's okay. I found just a tiny, tiny scrap of iron. Yep, just two. <laughs> worth it. Totally worth it. Let's go in here. Is this that looks like another flooded cave? We can turn that little faucet off. Okay, I am finding a very good deal of copper ore. Yes, many, many a stack. We could always craft them into solid blocks to reduce the space in our inventory. I guess to increase the space available in our inventory, but reduce the space that they take up. No iron that way. I really did think there'd be a lot more mobs down here. I still find it quite odd that there are not. There is sadly a great lack of like mine carts with chests in them. I would absolutely love to see. Then maybe we could get some melon seeds without having to travel too far go into a jungle or anything. Because the nearest jungle might be just incredibly far. Or we could choose the wrong direction and then just be stuck in oceans forever. Hmm. With the other iron that we missed before. I will count this whole section as being explored. Yeah, that was a flooded cave. And we're back to spider dens. Yep. Oh, oh! Oh god! Uh, oh jeez. Okay, they came from somewhere in there. I was not prepared to see one behind me. Oh my goodness. Can this even be considered ki uh, chill gameplay anymore? Or is this now if we like approach being in a horror game? Here. Maybe it was from before. Oh my goodness. Things, they could just be stuck like up in the ceiling. Yes, it just takes it takes way too long to cut through that without a sword. I definitely think we should leave. It's not worth it. I hate to say, but it really is really is not worth it. We're we're playing on a knife's edge over here. My goodness. Oh, I think we already went down there. Yeah, we don't have enough food for this. Maybe if we had another stack or two, I'd consider it. 
But at this point, when I'm just about to start screaming from fear, that's when I think we can just carry on and do a little something else. The spiders just make the worst sounds to me. Maybe there are people out there that like the sound of them. Not me, I'm not a I'm not a big fan. Every little bit goes a long way. Remember, more cobwebs does not have to equal more fear. These guys never miss. Okay. It is worth exploring all of these little tunnels, despite the fear. <laughs> Just because there's a lot of iron that we don't have to try that hard to get. We're at almost a stack. If we had fortune, we'd be doing even better than that. Maybe we should go up to the surface and look for some cows. Because then we at least have the option of maybe being able to make small enchanting setup. Maybe we could just make a copper road instead of a dirt path. That sure would be interesting. Ooh. Okay, I don't know why, but this way feels extra promising. Okay, there is a little bit of iron off to the side. We have to be over a stack by now. Yes, stack in. Let's make a couple more torches. Actually make another 20, just to free up a little more space. As I do hear spiders again off to the side, if I see them, I'm just running for the hills. I don't think they can get into this little mine shaft where we are. And though I can hear them, <laughs> and it's awful. God, they're so close. Hear their little mandibles just chomping away. Hey, we found some gold. Let's go. Bad. We're getting close to being able to make a golden apple and a golden carrot. And then, of course, once we combine them, you know what? I believe I did put on my other data pack this time, which I meant to have before. So I'll show you a little something interesting when we return to the surface, if we ever do return. Okay, we've been down here long enough where we should really go back up to the surface. Unless I specifically need to get a bunch of cobblestone or something. But then of course we can always, can always, always come back. You dig just a little bit and you uncover just more mystery. I don't need the ink sack making an executive decision on that but we do need all of this wonderful iron that we just discovered 
No, I, f I hope that this, I guess, series or just set of videos goes well. I would like to just keep playing like this. But of course, I'm still searching for success in this to some degree. I think everybody, in some capacity, when they set out to make creative endeavors, they have a desire for them to. I think it would be somewhat foolish if you did. Or at least maybe a bit dishonest. Because success is quite fun. The more successful you are, the more people you can interact with. And human interaction is one of the greatest parts, of, in my opinion, of being a content. Especially on platforms such as Twitch. More so than the YouTube comment section. You can meet some very lovely people and have some... Very wonder, wonderful and uh, enlightening conversation. By chance, a copper vein. Let's turn this into a crafting tool. Almost a stack of copper blocks. That's crazy. From just one little mining sesh. They really did increase how much copper you get by quite a lot. Still, though, it is only a decorative block. But since it's a decorative block, you definitely do need quite a lot. Let's see, I've normally been placing torches on my right as I go, so we should be having them on our left when we return. We'll just stop by for a couple. Because this will also, yeah, give us some useful experience. If we really need to hit 30 for something, we can go to the nether and try and hit 30 from mining some quartz. All right, this is on the left side, on the right side. Which is right, that one's at the end. Used a little bit. Uh this is on the left side. That's on the right side. Those are on the right side. You know, I may just have gotten a touch lost. We're just gonna dig out of the ground here. I don't want to spend too long just trying to retrace my way out. If there was some more reward to backtracking, maybe I'd go for it. But right now it's just a little bit of a tedium that I'm looking to avoid. I don't know if I'll ever use this staircase to get back down into the mineshaft, but I'm definitely at least going to use it to get out. This can be a one-time, one-way use, and it will be perfectly fine with me. I think we should try and explore the... Okay, we should, we should try and explore the uh, deep slate tunnels. Just a little bit. So we can maybe find a few more diamonds. We really did make it quite far down. Also, with all these pockets of gravel underground, we should be able to uh, 
make some concrete if that is ever our desire. Hey, look, we made it back home. So we ended up pretty, pretty close. I'm not about to get cursed by a witch again. We already dealt with the uh, baby spiders too much. How far is she going to chase us? Be gone. Be gone, please. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know the poison. Just drinking instant health potions. Okay, she's gone. Now let's see. Well, nothing else should be around to kill us. So I guess we'll just have to take the damage for now. And then maybe get a little bit of wheat for food. We could deal with uh, expanding our wheat area a little bit, make a nicer farm. Of just this little coastal section. Really, the witch trampled. The witch trampled a block. Tisk tisk. We can overcome. We just need. Don't know. I am collecting quite a bit of seeds, so if we do start a new farm somewhere, it should go pretty fast. Here's part of the data pack I was talking about earlier. There we go. So we don't really need cows. We could just get some more rotten flat. Save these for a book. I believe there were some sugar cane in here. I'm glad to find out that there definitely, in fact, was. So let's take out some of these. Make some axe. Bones are good because we might be able to get a puppy. Or more, we have 62, so we definitely have over a stack now. We might be able to build something with raw copper blocks, which is not, which is really not what I expected. Hey, okay, are the wolves still over here? Do you hear a sheep? A nemesis. Okay, we got him. Four bones to the same wolf. Oh, okay. Roll the dice. Let's go! We got one. Okay. There was another wolf, though, wasn't there? Do we dare to take the wolf on our adventures? It, it could very easily not survive for very long. Here, we'll bring it back home. It can be a little guard dog for our home. And then we have to plant all of our sugar cane. So maybe we could just make a sugar cane. Come here, doggo. Oh, there he is. This way. Or you could just stay there.
see. Ooh, more rotten flesh is a good sign. Then we can just plant all of these around. And chop these trees. Just so we get a little bit more of the waterfront available to grow sugarcane. Also, this will stop the sugarcane from growing a little bit because we would like to get an enchanting setup eventually. Today, I don't think so. Maybe the next time. So either tomorrow or in several days, whenever I end up sitting down. Having the time to play for an hour or two. Oh, chickens. Where are the seeds when you actually need them? Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Bring them over this way. Now I'm really torn. Do we make stuff on the beach or do we try and make a small farm? I think we definitely need a farm more than most other things. Right? They seem to always be low on food. We're getting there. Look at their little shadows under the water. It would be interesting if they made ripples as they swam. I don't know how difficult that would be to implement. Come on, chickens. I was just about to say gobble gobble, but that's not, that's not the sounds chicken me. Okay, we could do just a farmhouse right here. Oh crap, I lost one. I lost one chicken, come back. Thank you. Can do the classic throw them in a hole for now and then deal with it later on. Come here, chicken. Get in the hole. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll find you a good home, I promise. I need to get a shovel though. And we're gonna do some quick deforesting. And then build a little a little barn, maybe a stable instead. But we don't want to build it over here, so we can start replanting trees along the sides. Maybe maybe we'll bone meal for a little bit of grass along here. Just so there's a little bit more going on, because otherwise it seems quite empty. You're just going to sit and look this way. The least you could do is sit on that side of the doorway. <laughs> so that way we can look at you when we walk in and out. And not just see in your butt the whole time. Of course, need to make some more scarecrows. Take these, we'll take these all. Shovel. Or the rest. Actually, we should make a second shovel. Yes. Just to store things that we don't want to hold on to for right now. 
Okay. Because we'll make an iron pickaxe here, so I'm just gonna ignore the one that we have. Now we just get to work on terraforming this area. And then building in our farm, which we'll make out of all of the lumber that we cut down. Will we incorporate birch wood into this build? Very good question. I have no answer to you at this point. We could also make a little house, maybe just a little house off to the side, the stable. Oh, we can also make more shears to get all of these leaves. Now that I think about it, we can make a very, I don't know, kind of like big hedge going around everything made out of leaves. And a like secret garden theme. Things I gotta make sure that whatever I plan on making, we have enough time to do it in one sitting. I don't wanna have I don't know, I don't wanna have this project take multiple sessions. I like being able to just do Sit down once, play for a while, and then create something. The thing we create may not be the best thing ever, but hey, we'll still have created something. That's a lot. It's not always easy to do. idea in mind. Let's do this. This is the path coming through. This will be the section that goes in towards the center. Then off to each side we'll have something extra. Over here, I think we'll have steps to walk up and in. We'll have just a very interesting walled off garden over here. Is there a tree still in this? Yeah, okay. okay. It looks like it's not naturally despawning. There's gotta be something going on. Okay. Oh. I don't know where my shield went. That? Oh no. That's not what I meant to do at all. I meant to uh, to place a torch. Let's see. We can place these here for now, then grab them back later. Yeah, we're gonna need quite a lot of oak for this. Hmm. 
think I have a solution, and that is to sleep until daytime. I think that's the best idea I've had in a while. Let's get going all the way back up to bed. We can't continue to take this much damage because we can't sustain it. We don't have... Oh, there's an arrow in my hand. We don't have... Beautiful sunrise. We don't have the means to heal ourselves. Oh, I meant to store some things in the chest. We'll take these other chests. Saplings, saplings. Sounds good for now. We, of course, should put lanterns on this bridge. Again, we gotta do the pressing things first. And the non-important stuff much later at the end. There is a tree. I think I need to plant another wood cube. Otherwise, we probably won't have enough wood to work with. File. This one can be all of the stone things. In there. This one can be seeds and stuff. You have quite a few oak. Hmm. Well, we can always have more. cube. The wood cube knows no bounds. Okay, we do have to uh, plant some saplings along the path, though, to get back to what we had before. And I might need to go out and find some more logs. Yeah, just like so. A couple trees here and there. We did already cut down once. Okay, I promise to not do it for a while longer. Head back to the farm just to get a little bite to eat so I can sprint and heal myself. I'm always wary about accidentally breaking that fern because like it's just <laughs> it's something I had to go and place myself which means if I break it by accident I'm gonna have to go back and replace it oh I flicked that one oh dude what <laughs> Where do they get the gall? I would love to find where they got the audacity. You, know, you might be thinking to yourself, Ryan, this is an incredible waste of logs. Of course it is. But it's Minecraft, so anything you do is not a waste as long as you enjoy it. So, have we really wasted any logs? Absolutely not. Because we'll find something interesting to be a takeaway from. We 
have all of the retaining walls in. Now we just need to fill in all of the dirt for the farm. Which of course is going to have to end up at a couple different levels. Stuff going on up here. Just so it makes a little more sense with the height of these walls. And then of course we have to come in and find uh, some way to meaningfully flood this. By flood, I just mean hydrate the crops. We're not going for a, a world ending style flood here. Make sure nothing spawns. I don't want to deal with the sounds of monsters. Mm, I think that's fine there. Go like that. And then. We can store the rest of these for now. I would like to find necessarily. Well, yeah, okay, we can do two slabs, but I do already have multitude of slabs back home. We should use those all up first, and of course, grab the lanterns to throw on this bridge. Slabs in this chest. And do we have lanterns? There's four. Not too many. Perch. I think it's enough. Here. There. That should be lit up uh, decently well at nighttime. I have to do the bottom just to get this little sliver in here. That, just so it's not dirt. That's something that always annoys me whenever I do this little uh, design going on. There we go. It's a smooth little Way to get up. Have a smooth entrance in this. I think this should also go up by one. Like so. And we can always make fences. Just to add a little bit more interest to these pieces. This one should be too. Right here we can go up one, this one can go up two, and then this one can go up two as well. That there, one here, one on top. We will do more like this. All right, I think that gives it a little more, again, of just that, like, rustic tech. We're not looking for things to be perfectly smooth here. We just want it to feel a little bit like it's a part of the forest around it. A little less uh, constructed feeling.
I can go up one more. All right, I think that's fine. Then we can say we'll do a little patch of water there. I kind of want to just do yeah a smooth transition going up to the next level. Let's actually take that out. We can just throw water underneath of the stairs here. We can throw water underneath of the stairs here. And of course, we can throw water underneath of the stairs on this corner. I just need to get my water bucket. Because that should be able to cover a very large section with hydrating all the crops. And then we don't have to have just little patches of water sitting out. <sighs> well, it'd also be good to make more than one bucket of water. Pickaxe, yes, and sword, beautiful, oh, and we're getting low on food. We gotta get moving just a little bit fast. Then, of course, we have to make this a flooded slab still. Otherwise, there'll just be a weird little gap once we uh, till this dirt. I believe all of these should be close enough now to be soaked with water. These ones right here, I was going to say maybe not. We can do a similar thing here. So we flood this in the corner. Throw just a little slab on top. Give it a little bit of a curl going out the sides. Let me see. This one should be one higher, at least. But because those are both one higher, this one can be two higher. We can put a scarecrow here. And if we put a scarecrow there, then we can put the block that it's standing on as a flooded block. And then I think we can just do one more on this side. And that should be good. We're covering the whole farm. Then we can go grab all those seeds. If I grab them all, I guess I do still have some on. Then, of course, we can make the chicken coop in the middle, and I want to make another one of these style farms on the other side, but maybe we make it more uh, pumpkin-themed.
This is just a small way to expand how much wheat we have to eat. Then if we're over here as well, then this will grow and we'll get a little more our diet, which is poorly lacking at this point. See, we have to take out those little parts underneath. Because little hmm. A little strange that way where I really need this to just work out. Perfect. And now it should look okay. We can get the chickens out of there, but I think first thing we would need to do is make this coop. Which means we need to fill this whole area in with a lot more dirt to just flatten this out. We can find somewhere else where dirt is plentiful. We can also fill this in with dirt. For now we gotta walk back home for all these seeds. We can store the pumpkins as well. Cool blocks. Labs. Fine. And we're on just a little bit of a mission, still, <laughs> to eat more food. The spiders really set us back by poisoning me through all of my stacks of bread. Got six. We gotta find somewhere with extraneous dirt. Oh, that was interesting that it grew right as we passed it. You can always smooth out the area around the lake a little bit more. I think maybe we'll need a little bit more than two stacks. I don't really need to cut down. I think maybe we'll make something out on this peninsula. Not today. But flattening out this area could be useful in the future. It's just having another flat area to build something. We'll just take all of this uh, topsoil here and move it into our farm. Maybe we could also use our wheat to bring over some sheep. I haven't seen any pigs, but even if we did, we might have seen some pigs. People don't have care. They'd have to fight some zombies or find a village. And I don't see either of those things coming to pass. We'll just keep digging. Two and a half. Then on to three. I really should get a secondary bed. Just to take with whenever we go uh, building in a new location. To save a little bit of time from going back and forth to our base so frequently. This is why I usually mine out all of the dirt that I find underground. Big clusters. Just to save me time from doing this above ground. Now we might want to bring like a little lightning rod out here and set it off to the side so we don't accidentally burn this down.
Hey, I forgot that iron already insta mines this stuff. Now it's out of the way. That was kind of a waste of the entire iron hoe, but uh, that's why when you put silk touch on it, it's so easy. It lasts a lot longer than using just a bunch of shears. I wonder if this area will be big enough. Well, it's definitely not enough to get over here for the other farm. At least this is looking good. Yeah, we'll put a scarecrow right there. We could also put in some custom trees if we have a little extra time at the end. Spent a lot of time getting copper that uh, we're not going to be using for anything. Oh, hearing some Enderman freak out. I guess we could always grab some spruce saplings and then make a mega spruce tree to get some pods all over here without needing to get silk touch. And then also we can end up with a bunch of uh, spruce wood. I like that idea. That's just bumping the creativity up a little bit. Already broke. <laughs> I think the faster way is just to chop down trees and wait for leaves to despawn. I'm so afraid of there being monsters out. I'll bring a torch with me. more leather walk near us but it seems like oh like I don't want to skip the rain I just want to skip the night time but sometimes it is necessary so alas we shall go back to bed I'm glad that I put this window off to the side of the bed so we have something to look out at. So really with how you lay down your window and like interesting view should I guess always be at the foot.
That just doesn't really, like, mesh well with how you would instinctually put a bed in. Be outside my door? I didn't have any spruce. Or not spruce, I, I didn't have any rotten flesh on me. You know what, I have the I have the pumpkins here, but I only have one iron. So I can't actually carve it. Makes me a little sad. We have to go back once again. Only we could get a speed boost walking on these. Come on, doggo. We'll bring you over to the new place. We don't have to leave him at home. He can sit and uh, watch the garden with our little scarecrow friend. Over here, doggo. Over here. Look at me, though. No, look at me. Look at me. No, come back. I just want you to sit here. Oh, there you go. That's a decent pose. And you stay there. Looks nice. Beautiful. We have another scarecrow watching out. Ideally, when we get more wool, we'll add little hats to them. But that's going to be a little while, because we need to find uh, cocoa beans or a brown sheep. Neither of which we've seen so far. You need a few more spruce saplings. I made many, many axes way back when. Just to deal with this now. I knew that they would break while we're cutting down all of the trees that we need. Okay, we got we got enough to make one mega tree. Kind of want to put here. And we'll have another one here and then another one here just to kind of spread all of the pods all around. So to not waste too much time, I think it would be very pertinent to go and cut down more of these just to get a few more saplings while we wait for the trees to grow. Because once the trees grow, we still need to cut them down and so on. So it's gonna be a bit of an effort still. There we go, now we can plant a second one. Go here. It'd be weird if there's like a little gap between them. <laughs> I don't know though. I just really hope there won't be one. I'm not exactly sure what the radius is. Maybe it's like five blocks. 
My hope, at least. We got four more. Might need to put another one over there. You know what? This might be worthwhile. Okay, yes, there might be... Ooh, okay, it does overlap nicely. We can cut these down. And that one should give us enough uh, saplings for the rest of the puzzle that we'll need. And I just really need to make sure to not mess up and break any of it. Otherwise, we're going to be at a very sad point where we have to grow an entire one of these trees just to get like one more of a specific brown textured block. I just like the puzzle because right now we don't have mud in the game. It's, I think, the closest looking block. Of course, we have coarse dirt, which is nice, but the puzzle is just a little bit more... I don't know, it's a little more wet looking than the coarse dirt. Coarse dirt looks very, very gravelly and rough. Whereas the ponzo looks more like a soft a pit of mud that you might find pigs wallowing. We could always do like some spruce mountain houses, like in the trees. I know I said mountain, but I meant tree houses. We do some spruce tree houses, which would be interesting. I've never done that before. We gotta have enough for this. Then we'll wait for that to grow. I don't know if we'll need more. Maybe we'll put one back here. It is also just a good investment of wood too because we can i mean worst case what we just turn this all into charcoal and then we just make a bunch of torches and maybe lanterns out of it that still seems like a pretty big upside And of course, there's always all of the wood that we'll need to make all the bookshelves for the enchanting table and all of the very, very many crafting recipes that involve using a bunch of wooden planks. Not to mention the fact that the spruce wood is just the nicest one to build with for those design aesthetics. So here we go, chopping them down. Getting several stacks of wood in the process, which is much nicer than forming the uh, the wood cube <laughs> of all of the oak wood. Hey, you can just plant two of these trees and you got enough wood. The oak stuff is insane. You have to plant just stacks of sap. And it's never enjoyable. It's fine to play it when it's like... You're just chilling like this. It's not like... When you're trying to make like a large uh, custom tree or something and you want to make it out of oak wood, you then realize that you made a bad decision. That's why I try to stick to making everything out of uh, dark oak or spruce wood, because they have the larger tree forms. is setting quite quickly. Goes the sun. Got this back here, and then I think... Hmm, I don't know if this goes down, though.
I, wanna, I know that the Podzol growing will go down. I mean, I guess I don't know if the uh, the spruce goes up. The Podzol growing goes up. I know it goes down, though. It's going to be nighttime quite uh, soon. They might as well. A little bit more able to see what is going on. And we got a bunch of extra saplings in case we need to plant more of these trees. Did he turn? He totally did turn. He was facing the... Excuse me? What? I don't know. I thought that they couldn't move. Hmm. Because I might have just learned something new. Sometimes they can flip around. I normally don't deal with uh, dogs or cats too much in Minecraft because I don't want them to accidentally get blown up while I'm doing something because that makes me really sad. I tend to just leave them uh, as feral animals, as wolves in the wild or stray cats. And they just add a nice uh, background, little look to everything. And I don't tend to deal with them, uh, like, the pet owner said, most of the time. And it'll extend the podzol back a little bit more. We, of course, still need the dirt to throw in this section. But... Throw in... I need a lot of spruce. Let's take one of these, turn it into as many trapdoors as possible. I love the trapdoors, they're like my favorite. We can finally add them back to the bridge. I wanted to do quite a while, but I knew we'd end up getting some of these anyways. So. Level is this at? To me, these are kind of just little supportive straps that go on the uh, the logs. Is kind of a sort of fastener to hold these things together. I suppose we can just do it from down here. It gives a little added depth to these pillars. So that they're not oh, so that they're not entirely like out of where they just look like little sticks that aren't attached to anything. See, but then the real struggle I have with using these as decorations again on my server is because people just come in and flip them all the wrong way.
There you go. Now if we look at it from a distance, I think it looks just a little bit better. Maybe those shouldn't have been double high, but at least the one strap around looks nice. Look at it from over here. Here we have the unsupported ones. And here we have the supported ones. It looks just a little bit more complete. Of course, there's a lot more we could do for accents, like adding in signs or buttons or fences. But we're going to keep that one simple. Okay, so we got all of the puzzle that we want. We'll take down these trees uh, when the time comes. Right now they're off to the side, so we can just kind of work around them. Except this one. <laughs> so that one won't be when, uh, when the time comes. It'll be pretty soon. Right now, we can use a trusty shears to get as many oak leaves as we feel like having. Lovely decorative block. At some point, will come in handy whenever I feel like using it. Might be pretty soon, actually. X. I guess those all kind of count as plants. Seeds and wheat. Oh, we do have some fully grown stuff. More bread, the merrier. And then, of course, we can always start saving to make more... Um, More hay bales. My mind went very blank for a moment. And we can also find, yeah, those floating oak log blocks. Always hide so very easily. We have, oh. I say, do we have a full uh, set of trees here? And then one tree just grew, so the answer is going to be no. This one does not appear to be grown. It does. We definitely have enough right now, so I'm, I am just going to break out all the ones that uh, aren't grown yet. Otherwise, it'll be a little bit of an annoying interference. I don't know if there are any more. Does seem to be a pretty decent wood cube. Should at least pick up as many of these as I can before they start despawning. Whoops. Do we have any saplings to replant this? Not really. <laughs> but again, I also don't really want to replant it. I just want the wood. So this is a good one-time use strategy if you need a lot of oak wood. This is the closest we can get to mining just one really big tree. Right clicking is very dangerous.
Because I don't have any... At least I don't have any use in my mind for what I would do with a bunch of stripped oak logs. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you can think that would be a good build to use a bunch of stripped oak logs for. I generally steer away from oak logs because it's very tedious to get a lot of them. But since this is the chill, relaxing take on Minecraft, I'm trying to go a little bit outside of my comfort. Work with the blocks that I normally don't. Which is why the base of our house is made out of tough. And the walls are made out of walls. <laughs> But now that I've used them, I think I definitely will use walls as little uh, changes of depth in a larger wall. Making the whole wall out of just walls I don't think is a good plan. But using it as a little accent here and there, intermittently throughout a build, I think is a pretty good idea. I don't think our axe is going to even make it through all this. So for a significantly larger amount of time having to wait and a lot more saplings that went into it. We got comparatively a decent amount of oak wood. When we look at all of the uh, spruce wood that we got, just because we wanted a little bit of podzol on the ground. But what the next goal really should be is just getting a bunch of dirt. Oh, and I've been forgetting Keep expanding the sugar cane. Because the fewer times we have to go and harvest sugar cane, the better. I don't want to have to be out here farming it for many, many, many days. I want to come out, uh, get the sugar cane that I need, and be done with it. It would be nice to have just a bunch of library books, or li uh bookshelves for decoration, because they are very nice. Sunset? No, that is lava. <laughs> I think the sunset in that direction. I don't even remember. I was gonna zoom in and be like, oh, this is the most beautiful sunset I've seen in Minecraft in a long time. But uh, it doesn't really count when it's not a sunset. Throw some torch now. Might need to grow another tree there and like here. We'll see. I really don't like seeing the creepers off in the distance. Too much for my poor heart to take. back for yet another lovely night's sleep. Oh, we did get an achievement today, though, for getting our dog. 
wonder if we'll be able to keep up getting at least one achievement per episode. I don't think so. Very, very difficult to make. Oh, we do have a good amount of extra damage. Oh, quite a, quite a good amount of damage. One thing that I really want to do is watching Kanto. Good movie. Very emotional too. I was a big fan of the music and the story. I think it was just very good all around. Oh, course third. That's why. Okay, not all of it is course dirt, just the one stack. <laughs> we'll use that though. We'll use it. It'll be it'll be very useful. Okay, but it's just not what I thought it was when I grabbed it. Oh. And yes, I am going the overkill method of doing both layers of dirt instead of leaving a little gap. Because I am crazy. And this will absolutely take more effort this way. Like we will almost certainly need to go and get more dirt. Yeah, because we won't have we won't have enough for the raised uh, beds for the farm. But uh, hey, I, we did a decent job filling that all in. So like... What do we do? I think we make another little farm alcove here. Like this one. And then we put in a larger wall going around the back there. Maybe put in a small little house, a little chicken coop. You know, things, things such as that. I will almost certainly need to make another iron axe before we chop down, before we finish chopping down these, like, three really tall spruce trees. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Seems very unlikely because the trees are incredibly tall. We'll do our best. We're getting close to the like two hour mark. And really the only progress we've made is making we've gathered a lot of materials and prepped the area, but as far as building goes, we've just made the one farm. We do have a lot of materials for future use though. We can never get villagers. Maybe I can do a quick makeshift little iron farm so I don't have to mine for iron every single episode. This one's gonna break when we get to the end of this tree. So let's actually go for this one. It may take a long time planting growing and then cutting these trees down, but I definitely think it's a lot faster than trying to speedrun getting silk touch without doing anything like super grind. The goal here isn't to speedrun anything, it's just to relax. Yay, it's raining again. This is the part where I just want to like just vibe with the raindrops and not really say anything. I'll fill you in on any ideas that I have coming up.
I don't currently care for having uh, the entire farm area be fully grown right now. I much would, I much prefer having uh, a lot of hay bales to throw around at the end and design. We'll take the ferns. Ferns, some squares. More pumpkins. What I came back for was the iron though. Maybe some glass. When we get around to making our building. Little chicken coop. You can always add in some custom trees on the side. Maybe in the back too. Would love to add in a pond. But I need a couple more resources that I don't really have yet. Namely bamboo and some coral. I believe either of those things have been available yet as far as we've explored. Which, to be perfectly fair, is not much. Okay, so now I think it's time to add in these oak walls. The dog so poorly lit up from the rain. Thing <laughs> is that just because he's supposed to be wet? So here. I'd rather have it start here and then go like Yeah, this one can be a bit bigger than the other one. Should work out fine. That. We'll go up. Layer around everything. We're definitely going to need to find more dirt. Kind of like every other. Thing like that.
See, life's good when you have just a bunch of building blocks, but having to go out and get all of them, not always the most fun thing in the world. Yeah, and then we have our little raised farms. I think they look really nice. I might just be really biased about that. What do you guys think? I think they're, I think they're really good. <laughs> but of course I think they're really good. I made them. I'm hyping myself up. Do I deserve the hype though? That's what you gotta answer. Cause I can't answer that. I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> slab on me right now. We could do a little bit of a dirt path going from here into the house, but I don't think it's worth it. I like the grass better. Because then it makes it look like it's a little less trodden of a path. I think we also need to incorporate barrels into this build somehow. The barrels look very cool. All right, I guess we could make an iron golem. Now we have invisible item frames, which we can use for pretty much just strictly decorations. But they tend to look pretty nice. Oh, so this is where we'll add on walls going around. And this will just be a nice little enclosure. And I really wonder if I'll have enough logs for this. We're going to have to stop using them for building things soon. I would like this to get kind of taller in the middle of the back still start decently high. It's kind of like uh, an old wooden fort design. No, I'm out. <laughs> I need so many more logs. Ugh. Okay. We can get through this together. We'll just probably need to chop down a lot of trees that will be out of sight because I'll be behind this. And I also need oak fences. Hmm. may have decided to do a little too resource intensive of a build for day two.
Samplings. Them all over here. And hope that we can get enough wood from whatever grows from these. Make another small cube. Hope that hope that this is good. Come back in a moment. I just need to check to see if there were more uh, oak logs. Okay, there's not terribly many more. Oh man, yeah. No, definitely not enough. And there's one stack after this. I want the whole thing to get a little bit higher. Yeah, because at the end of this, there's still not going to be enough for, uh... I guess it, it, it did get around there in the end. There's not enough for, I think, fences. We already have, like, all of the slabs that we need. We just need fences. This is a nice little, uh, closed-in area. We can dabble in some coarse dirt around here or grow one more spruce tree. <laughs> Which seems like a ridiculous thing to do, but hey, if we need to, we need to. Only 60? We'll start with the very back. go from there. We do have more oak trees growing, so it's not the worst thing in the world if uh, I kind of mess this up. What I'd prefer to do, instead of doing this here, we need to do that there. It is a little weird trying to think about how to make this look, you know, like normal, but at the same time also constructed. It's a weird balance you gotta strike. here, we can go up on that one. I do the double-double uh, to go up. Single. Go on that one. And, oh, of course this to work out as well. Definitely don't have enough. There we go. At least we got a, a good amount of sampling. I 
only danger is the trees might grow inside of us. I messed that up. I mean, we're turning all of these into fences anyways, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Can we strip a log? Four. Again, I still believe not enough. But we're getting there. Back to home base. <laughs> We're getting there. We're oh, I'm I'm actually excited. We're getting so close. And just expand that a little bit more. A little bit wider of a path because it's being very well worn at this point. This is like the this is like the most progress I've made on a base in survival in years. Because I normally just go and make redstone machines, and then I never use the blocks that I get from them for anything. But look at this fort! It's so sick! I really should make, um, just a lightning rod or two. Is grown. Little brief period of time. Go in saplings while we wait. We can get the sugar cane. I think at this point we'd be fine just storing. I did see the creep. Thought it was just turtles for a moment. Clearly it was a little bit more uh, nefarious than that. Turtles are my friend. The creepers, not so much though. They're trying to blend in both the trees and the turtles. Just finding a bunch of green space to walk around in. They're not fooling anyone. At least not me. This is a very gnarly oak tree. These are the ones that are just horrible to cut down. At least when they're in a giant wood block, it's a, a lot easier. All into. Planks, turn all the planks into fences. I still need dirt. Hmm. What do I do about the dirt problem? We could go underground and look for more dirt.
We do have the coarse dirt, which we could always till, but that seems very wasteful. Goes in. Also take all these out. Take another set of these out and make just a bunch of barrels. Ah, okay, it's not nearly as many slabs as I thought it would be. But still, we'll make a bunch of barrels. That's not even two stacks. I might regret this later on, but... Okay, now we have two stacks of barrels. Which will probably be pretty interesting to use. I need to grab some stone to build with. And then also we can look for... There's more dirt underground. And of course, we do still have the invisible item frames. We can check for more wheat at home base here. Try and turn those all into hay bales. And we found under gravel po er, underground pockets of gravel, but I don't remember if we found any underground dirt. But still, we're going. We're going to look. We might be fortunate enough to find some. around here. Ah, here we go. It's a nice place to get a bunch of dirt that won't destroy uh, the surface anywhere. Of course, digging out all this dirt might always expose some iron, which, you know me by now, will be very excited about. Coal's also interesting, so we can make coal blocks. And not useful now, but if we make uh, an interesting forge-themed build, I think that will go well. I wish the Minecraft music would play a little more often. I don't know if that would make it, like, get super annoying. But at least while I'm doing this, I kind of wish it was. I wonder if that's something you can mess with in the setting. Maybe you can change the volume, but don't remember ever seeing any toggle for changing the frequency in which the music played. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave the one dirt path there. Maybe one day I'll make this mine look nice. Or we could always just close it off and then make another mine that doesn't go into just tons of flooded caves. Going and snag the stone things from before. Also turn. Some of this copper into something useful. We'll 
We'll bring a white. Actually, we could do another gray bed for the farmer. I don't have any wood on me. There we go. Farmer. Do we need anything else here? I don't think so in particular. Take the andesite and we'll grab the stone cutter. And bring that over for our new project. I think that'll be pretty easy. Or lightning rods. Not going to use them for any sort of design. I just want to put them far enough away from the base. And a little bit off to the side, you know. Where they won't cause anything to burn down. That's really the one thing that I'm trying to avoid. Is all of this from lighting on fire. I've never used these before. It makes me wonder if I, like, what I'm doing is actually going to make it worse. Like, oh, if it burns the trees down there and then it spreads in here. We should probably have this start. One separated back. Have it go up a layer, maybe? Yeah, I don't think we want it to go up a second layer, though. Just because I didn't put that second wall high enough for that, and at this point I really would prefer to not have to raise it. Yep, this is where this is all going for now. Bring the stone cutter down here. You don't mind if I do. Uh, don't think about that too much. Okay, you you might get a little confused. So. Okay, just to make these things go a little bit faster. New respawn point. Of course, we're going to have one over here. So we can just do that. That's, that's just better. Also, what am I doing running all the way over to that water when I made this little pond for myself earlier? Okay, this is the one where I need to go that way.
And placing those dirt blocks just makes it so I don't hear flowing water 24-7. We can have another scarecrow right here. Which should mean that we can get an iron hoe and then start throwing in another set of seeds. Hmm. Am I going to be this nitpicky? Yes. Absolutely. There we go. <laughs> Let's actually just take these out of our offhand. What I should have is just little lanterns sitting out and about, but not what we got going for us. If I had some colorful wool, maybe I could make like little food stalls with a little uh, carpet coverings. I really don't have access to the material. Unless we do bring in some sheep. We bring in some sheep would be a really good idea. Please also tell me that I still have extra oak fences. Yay! Extra oak fences. Do I still have the shears? I don't. I use them all up. Uh, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. Go. I should have this one turned so they're not both facing the same direction. Go. I think they're pretty funny. <laughs> That's just me, though. Okay, so I guess technically the things could escape from in here going out, even if we put a fence across this, because of this. So, let's make these to stone walls they'd still be able to get out, though. I still would like a couple. There is... Okay, this would be a weird thing to do. But, it would make it so animals can't jump up this. And then I can bother putting in... Like a little here, we'll move you. Move you, buddy. Then I can then I can actually bother putting in something like this. That would then have fence gates, preferably spruce ones. Spruce gates. Going in here like this. And then nothing in here could get out. Thing is, we need lanterns. This needs to be 
little bump here. I could always put string down to do that. But... I don't know, I like the lantern look a little bit more. Hopefully the other side only needs three. I might just go through all of my... I mean... <laughs> anywhere there's this like, uh, one block gap kind of looking thing, I think we'll throw in a lamp. It should look pretty nice. We still need to fill in this entire central area. It is going to be quite tough. Definitely will want a chicken coop. Maybe a spot for sheep because sheep, at least I know, are around enough where I could find some. Bring them in and get a little sheep pen going. Then I feel like we should have maybe an overhang kind of stable for them. This were one wider. I mean, I could always break that. Out. What about doing this? Oh, better or worse? Looks more annoying. <laughs> okay. I could always put in the fence here. The regular spruce fence. So, hmm, hmm. Only thing is I don't like this little curve, but I think that's something that I really shouldn't be focusing on too much right now. We could have a little house here, little stone house, and then throw in some stables around the sides. I think that would be I think that'd be a good idea. Let's throw this in a bunch of stone bricks and go. Like, so, or just a quaint little farmhouse. Yeah, and then we can have a little stable off on this side, a little stable off on that side, and then I can throw in Horse dirt along here, or plant one more spruce tree just to get the podzol. <laughs> oh, the podzol thing is, is really stupid. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to work with. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, I am going to need to go mine more stone. Again. One of those things where it's like, I wish I just had a chest full of smooth stone. Not smooth stone, just stone. I used to call it smooth stone all the time, but then they made smooth stone, which was nice because I like it as a block, but was also annoying because then I have to change how I say these things. We're just going to expand this here to get more stone. If we get more copper, so be it. I am a fan. We could always make a build out of raw copper, which would be really weird looking. It does take a little bit longer to mine.
I'm excited because I feel like we're getting close to the end. Probably going to be a little bit faster than the last build. If I can actually plan these things out in advance, I think we could save maybe like an hour and a half on the video. I don't know if you prefer a longer or shorter one. I feel like for the no commentary one, the longer the better. I wonder how many people actively watch versus just putting it on in the background while working or trying to fall asleep. I could definitely see it as being a nice sleep aid. Or just a little like background noise. Actively watch no Not for me. <laughs> Gotta listen to someone, but that's why I'm doing uh, both versions of it. Which I think is nice, and then people can transition between the two. Or if they're confused as to why I'm doing something, and they're watching the no commentary version, they could always hop on the commentary one and see if I say anything about it. I don't know, I just like to keep people's options open. Well, all right. <laughs> that was quite a far fall. I was going to say, though, the last video was like four and a half-ish hours. So the raw file for it was, I think, 152 gigabytes or something. And the edited down version, both were like 23 gigs each. So it took quite a long time to upload them, and then quite a long time for them to process. <laughs> and then in the end, they got copyright strikes by uh, some scammers pretending to own the rights to the Minecraft soundtrack. Which is just so weird. That it just keeps happening. Oh, well, I put in the uh, copyright claim disputes. We'll just see how they go. Right, we've lost the pickaxe, so I think it's a good time to step on out of here. Ooh. Don't let the spiders come get me. Back, goes back, make copper blocks with them, store the copper blocks in the more valuables chest. These things are definitely more valuable than the things in the other chest. Oh, there's also some shears. Hmm. Well, let me replant some of this and then hop in bed. I like this. I really, do, I really do like this long play version of doing things. Of just sit down and then in, say three, four-ish hours, try to accomplish building something. I feel like I make a lot more progress than just one series of like kind of highlights of building more complicated projects. Is this way it feels like the work that I put in is at least the work that I get out in the end. No. Oh, oh no. Let me make a pickaxe. That's really heartbreaking. They're expending so much fuel. Go make three of these. We'll throw them at the new base inside, just because no one will really see them when they're inside.
And this will be a very convenient area. Start melting more stone. Now it feels like I really don't have much at all. There was glass. Take that. We'll bring this with us. And I would like to make this one a little bit more run down looking, so I do want to make some cracked stone bricks. And we can also throw in uh, some other blocks like andesite here. Just to try and get in a little different mixture of textures. Seem like the building's broken just a little bit more. Okay, so here, store some things, seeds and apples, more hay. I don't think there will be enough to make a roof out of hay, but I can dream, I think. <laughs> At least we're getting more hay overall and having some food to eat. Yeah, that's not even too <laughs> We have 15. There's no way that's enough for a rooftop. Okay. Maybe we'll have to scrap that plan. This here. A good deal of those, and just a couple chiseled ones. And I do want this one to look a lot more haphazard. Because the building's uh, been falling apart, it's in ruins. Yeah, and then I think we'll do the roof from here. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be very tall. Maybe some stone brick walls, is that a thing? Nope. All right, we could just do a couple Couple cobblestone walls as an accent. Give it a little, a little bit more worn down look to it. Maybe make a cobblestone slab or two. And get enough. <laughs> Um, make two of these and two of those. Eh? I 
Maybe we'll get some mossy cobblestone stick. Because we can always throw some in like this. Give a little dent to the wall. In addition to just throwing one on the ground. The top ring is pretty nice. Let's just break out a couple spots. There, there. You know, the moss means a lot more to me as an accent than the andesite does because it adds a color variant in addition to a texture variant. Whereas the andesite's pretty much the exact same color. Nice and mossy. Don't know if we'll switch out the Ponzel floor. It was pretty difficult to get this much of it. <laughs> we can't just smelt the rock hopper down. What do we do for a roof though? Could do a like two tier spruce log. Hmm. Actually, what if we do spruce wood? We'll try spruce wood, and honestly, now maybe we'll throw in some hay bales. We need to get some bread. Currently, have two fully functional farms. That one's getting there. Consider it to be fully functional when it first starts producing wheat. Till then, it's just a bunch of little baby sprouts. Yes, that is also something you can't ignore. Kind of things. I normally don't like how the uh, patterns end up looking doing this. This one I would want to change because they're so directional. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I would love to have put. Um, we'll do one layer down. I would love to have put in. The hay bales? That just wasn't gonna happen. All those who were hoping for the hay bales, I apologize. Maybe next time we'll get enough. Seems like still an incredibly long shot. But hey, we'll see. Maybe I should make that uh, data pack available to download. I do find it very useful. So we finally have a wood cutter.
Wait, I might as well just sleep in the bed. Hey, I need to do something to prevent spawning on top. Which I could just put something light level zero up there. Ooh. I waste more logs making planks. Do this. That should give a little more depth to the front of the building than I otherwise would be able to achieve. Go up. Yeah. It's just a touch fancier. Of course, I'm just throwing the same thing along the sides till I go and grab more uh, trap doors. And then we can just replace some of these. We do that. But I do still need some trapdoors to smooth it out just a little bit. Oh, never mind. I have more on me. Just like this. Just so there's a little bit smoother of a transition through these blocks. They look like they have, I guess, slightly smaller looking overhangs. And we can add in a door. Um, there is no, <laughs> there's no crafting table in here. Let me grab a door. Door. The light has run out. Need to replace that with some glass. Oh, of course, the one place that I put their block, it doesn't work anymore. Pop it to be down here. And go like that. Okay, so then the glass works fine. And this one to be a window that's three long. Hopefully this smooths out the area along the ceiling a little bit better. You still got this funky line going on. How much that we can do about it, and also I don't really I care all that much. It might help. And we still got it, but at least it's got a little less of just a solid straight line going across the entire thing. This is where the bed will go. Or maybe that's where a storage wall will go. Put the bed, put the bed here.
that. Do need to make a crafting table in here. And in the back, we can do more. Uh, Making a little shelving unit. Then one we'll block here, and then this will be the top shelf. There, slab action over. Actually, just there. Fine. Ooh, no, I don't want it hanging from the ceiling. No. Sitting on the shelf. We can add in some hay bales to the outside. No, I can't put one here because then they'll escape. It's <laughs> a weird thing to have to think about. Mm. Yeah, then we can just throw in walls along here. That will ultimately connect over there. Not gonna light up the roof at this point in time. Have that. Do that, take this one out. Show this here. And that'll just be kind of the entrance for this side. <clears throat> and the chickens won't need as much space. Who cares about them? They can have an entrance like this. And maybe we can throw in like a pond here or something. Or on. Gates though. I'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Got eight gates. Lovely. No. That along the sides. I don't remember if this gives me uh Forget how things work for a little bit. You know, and I do need to make what is essentially a trough. 
turn all of these into stairs. Quite a few. I think the chickens can go, instead of a trough, more of just like a little pond. We can use this little spot to our advantage. Make a small little pond for the chicken. Hopefully is okay. I'm just throwing this there, and then we just have to waterlog this whole area. We do something like this to hang a lantern down. I think that looks nice. I'll hang a lantern from the front of the house. Both sides? No, then it kind of looks like eyeballs. I'd prefer it to just sit here. One to sit over there. Grab some seeds really quick. Yeah, and as time goes on and it reaches like Point where it's been a couple hours, I tend to a little less. Also, it just saves my voice a little bit to not talk how I do on stream and just <laughs> be very loud for hours and hours at a time. Fun little chickens. Make sure you guys don't escape, which this part here is the only potential escape that I can think of. Let's take that. One route for escape. How much do I get from this one? That one seems to be not that good. Just I was thinking from there to here. Maybe they can still get out, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. The lanterns are so good. It's really, really rough that it's taking like all of my resources to make them. Just really good. Peaceful home for the livestock. See, why put it up there? You could set it down here. Or you do a similar thing to the chicken coop. Hang one off the side. These down. Light level zero in here at any point. 
Light, 15, sky, 7 blocks. So no. This is bright enough. Here, we'll go with invisible item frame. Of them having laid a chicken egg down here. Maybe one extra one back there. Beautiful. Okay, so I do still need to find some sheep to bring over here. And then also throw in that coarse dirt from before. So let's throw in the coarse dirt. There's still one over here. Does I think I think this does give it a good vibe of being, you know, rustic farmland. Having all the podzol and the coarse dirt. Like look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. I do kind of need to chop these down. <laughs> There's just a little bit in the way. Oh. Skeletons. What am I going back here for? Sheep. I need the sheep that are that way. We'll sleep till daytime. We'll grab some sheep. And then things will be good. What a lovely sunrise. Okay, there is a sheep over there. I would like to grab at least two. Oh, perfect. Black sheep and a white sheep. Keep that one creeper that was over here far away. That zombie. Okay, good. He's gonna burn up. Let's see how go how well the uh, the sheep make it over the bridge. I wonder what kind of baby sheep we'll get. Is it like guaranteed to be gray since it's a mix of these two, or is it like ah no? There's a 10% chance that it's gray, 50% chance that it's white, 40% chance that it's white, 35% chance that it's uh, black? Doesn't matter which sheep you give it to first. What if I come over here? Does that one get a little less stuck pathfinding? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Do I have to go under and around? You guys are pretty dumb. <laughs> you guys are pretty dumb, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, white sheep. Come on, white sheep. Just pathfind over here. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, okay. I did not expect him to jump like that. This is why we make the wide bridges. A little bit easier to deal with. Hey, let's go. They're so cute. For the very first time that I bred like two blue sheep and got a baby blue sheep. Dude, it was mind blowing. I didn't know the game could do such wonderful things. Okay, 
Here we are. There you go. And it's a... It's a gray sheep! Aww. Little gray sheep. Oh, he's drinking milk. Don't, don't look at him. I guess that one's the dad. Well, that's how you find out. Okay, do I have any other walls? Again, I'm just gonna have a bunch of uh, stored items all over the place. So let's take uh, barrels. Let's make some walls out of those. Some fences out of these, just so I have them for the future. Thank you. And yes, of course, I do need to go back inside here. Uh, throw in some more storage barrels. Oh, crap. When you store the wrong things, that's what gets me a lot. Please, thank you. Definitely don't need the glass or the doors anymore. There we go, we got another table. I think I do what? Just the table like this. Got ourselves a table with a chair. I should grab a flower pot or two for decoration. With some spruce saplings. Maybe flowers? Did I have some? I guess I never brought them over. Play. Set this here. Oh, well, we'll put it on top of a barrel by the. Door. Beautiful. And then we can throw in just another pile of barrels over here. But of course, now it doesn't matter because nothing can escape because we already put in the work over there. So you could get into this going like that. Now you don't have to. It is all a little filled in. Could use an invisible item frame. Like here. Seeds on the ground. I don't think that's where. And. If we do this. I think that works out okay. Let me grab a couple of uh, stone buttons. Box all around the ground. That.
I don't think we'll go for a custom tree this time. We could next time just make like solely custom forest. Maybe try to kill a bunch of zombies so we can get all of the uh, invisible item frames for more decoration. Oh, you know what? I didn't ever fully replace all of the lanterns in here. Not that it really needs it. I think it's just a nice... And we'll see how much bone meal we can get from this. My guess is four. I don't have high hopes for this conversion rate. <laughs> Usually not incredibly exceptional. Four? Nope, we got four. I did it. I'm a genius. Got another set of hay bales. I think we could just throw in... What, like a little... L here, like that? We can always do a wheelbarrow. I think I need a grindstone. Then what? What are these for now? I'm gonna get slightly confused. We'll see those. Me two loaves of bread. That's not. I guess I could have put an item frame on the table for someone eating. That's not super important. Here, we'll do this on the inside. For just a little bit of, what, extra support on the walls? There's a little textural difference. There's something more to look at. Oh. Gates. Gates, gates, gates. Do this. Doors. What if I do something like... Do something like this. Maybe let's go like here. I feel like there's got to be a more compact way to do this. Oh, shoot. I just want to make a wheelbarrow. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want to do right now is make one wheelbarrow. Go like this. We did something like... 
That look like a wheelbarrow? We could flood it with water. I don't know how I feel about that. It's like, what if I go... No, because then it's just fully open. About something like this. That looks a little more like a wheelbarrow, I guess. I think making a, a hopper would be better, but and I'm, I'm not going to make a hopper for this. It's just a little side piece. Throwing like lab here, labs there, classic, uh, bucket here. <laughs> okay, that'll be all for now. <laughs> this is fun. Um, I wonder what we'll do next time. This is a pretty cool build, though. We took, like, roughly three and a half hours. Well, bye, everybody. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, send this thing unsolicited to a bunch of people. You know, do what you gotta do. But for now... Goodbye.